Hello, you guys. Happy Wednesday. It is our midweek check-in. Um, again, we do our nutrition, where you're at, struggles, non-scale victories, anything that we want to highlight. Um, and I am just jumping in and kicking off today first with a couple shout outs. Um, we have our girl, we have a couple of our members who have finished their programs. And of course, my phone is going to do this to me and I wasn't ready for it. Um, we have Lissy who sent me, she lost five inches and 6.4 pounds, which is really closer to eight pounds since my real starting weight was higher. Thank you. I feel so good. Um, she was, she has been a rock star and she has jumped into morning meltdown 100. Um, she loved that the nutrition she eats vegan and she was able to adopt the to be mindset mentality and just really found that it shifted her cravings. Um, she was hashtag, um, just COVID times and stuff, but she, you know, admittedly said she was drinking more wine and just, you know, eating and just, you know, when you're at home and snacking and just like not, you know, paying too much attention, um, knowing that, you know, we're in survival mode at some points. Right. So, um, that was a huge, these were huge wins. Her kids are cheering her on. Her husband is now working out now that he's seen so much of her, um, success. We have Haley, she, I said, how are you doing? And, um, or how are you feeling and stuff? And she says, I'm amazing. It's all working for me. I'm down 19 pounds as of today and feeling so good. I got COVID and took a break, um, and was going to get back, but I was going to get back to it, but honestly, life, you know, just hit, my goal next week is to be back at it. And so 19 freaking pounds. And this is just adapting, adopting um, more sound nutrition. And I believe she's following our portion control um, system. And so it's, it's what I love is it's just like it's finding what works for you and it's understanding the concepts and then making it work for your life. Um, both are working individuals and just have a lot on their plate and finding, finding it work for them. Um, I am so excited. I just started this new book and check Jamie's name because you're going to start seeing it pop up everywhere. Um, I know I have since I became more aware of this book and she is just every, I'm just like, I wish I could read quicker because I just am like, oh, and then I have to do things. Um, but it is about overcoming limiting beliefs and self-doubt and body doubt and God doubt and, and even believing, but then actually having someone, you know, she had someone, um, this is like the classic quote that is, you know, shared that she, she was told, no one is going to buy makeup from someone who has your body. And so there is a lot that that is, <laughs> that is probably one of the biggest fears she had going into meetings and things that she had going on. Um, and to hear that and to just overcome and rise above and her resiliency. And she just shares a lot of the uh, vulnerabilities throughout her journey in her life. Um, and so if you're looking for a new read, I highly recommend because, um, for the people who have gone through it, all good things. So it's so important to, to fuel our mind, body, and soul and finding things that are breathing into us positivity and allowing us to also reflect on our own personal doubts and just, it's, you know, things that we got going on in our head or things that maybe are stirring in our heart. Like I want to do this, but I just don't know how, or I believe in this, but I just, you know, when you're kind of in that, in that stage and phase of life, um, there was, oh, did the share in here? Um, the, our girl, 
over the last year has dropped 40 pounds. It has been amazing to watch her journey and to join her. She just celebrated her 39th birthday and is the healthiest and feeling so just so good in her skin and has energy and is just radiating and she's helping her friends, you know, start their journeys. And so that's, that's just so, that's like where the magic happens, right? Like you're feeling so good and people start to just see that glow when you are feeling better. Right. And so it's, I freaking love it. I'm so proud of her and I'm excited to have new members. Um, just being able to focus on their selves and especially after the year that we've had, just kind of reconnecting to themselves and, and how they're feeling. And so it's freaking awesome. Um, she, why am I not seeing it? Um, through this program, she was able to lose six pounds. And again, she's already lost so much. And so, and then the, the inches, shoot, it doesn't tell me a total. Yeah, total. Now I'm going to have to do math. Um, seven inches of her body. Oh my gosh. Like freaking amazing. They it's, it's just so nice. And she follows portion control, the container system. Um, she's a great cook. So if you're not following her, you should be on Insta cause she shares and makes me hungry all the time. <laughs> um, and lastly, I just wanted to encourage not lastly, but, um, it is just kind of allowing yourself to meet you where you're at in your journey. Um, I, this is just live television right here or whatever. Um, I have open face, open face is a happy face. Like Alana says, and I had more carrots that were with me, um, for my lunch and it's just sitting there, but I just being able to put into practice the tools that are given to us. Um, I was listening to Alana's tips on PMS because guess what time of month it is for your girl. Um, and she was talking about the different things as far as cravings and the craving of chocolate and um, looking at the different cocoa whips and options that we have because those are protein heavy in um, in the recipes that we have available to us, but we also sometimes are getting that salty. And so, um, that salty desire. And so she just released her like chocolate shakeology or her salted chocolate shakeology in this month's nutrition plus app. So I'm super stoked to check that out. Um, and I have enjoyed seeing Jessie's been sharing her food and, um, it's always so fun to see. She's also an amazing baker. So if you are in the snore area and need cakes or cupcakes or anything desserty, it looked amazing for her daughter's second birthday, which happy birthday. Um, and, and that was awesome. So I just wanted to pop in here, share some of the wins, check in, remind yourself to give grace to yourself, um, to reach out with any questions. If you're struggling, if you're overwhelmed, if you've plateaued, if you've stumbled and gone backwards and are spiraling out of control, um, that happens, you know, like if you get, if you miss the mark, um, and that's okay. And so just not allowing yourself to dwell in that space, get back on the scale, get back to your tracker, make things simple and start planning ahead. So I was um, talking to someone cause I've never been a meal prepper planner um, like consistently. And part of that is I get overwhelmed by that thought or that, but what I found that does work is having the items in my house. And so like I now buy multiple red bell peppers or the orange or the yellow, like I love those ones. So I just buy multiple and have those. 
I buy um, the English cucumbers because I like those or the like petite ones. I like those. Um, my boys also like cucumbers. So I get them, I wash them, I chop them and I'll put them in a bag. And so I can sprinkle them next to my kids' food on the plate. I did that the other day. And so then they're just getting a veggie that way. Um, I do this with the carrots all the time or with um, cherry tomatoes because they, they also like those. So having go-tos that I know my kids also eat, but it's easy for me and they're easy snacky ones. Those are like essential to have in my house. And so getting back to like meal prepping planning, it's having items in my house that I know that I can eat or make together. Or if it's spaghetti for my family that I have my, um, my red bell peppers and maybe I do a different stir fry or something, but like, then I can still use like the meat and the sauce from it with my veggies most. Right. And so, um, just not overcomplicating and, and kind of thinking about what are the meals that I make for my family, but that I can swap for myself because I know that's one of our biggest issues and comments, concerns, all the things is like, I don't want to be making separate meals for my family and for me. And so it's just really finding what can you, what you already make and how you can adapt that into your life, what you already make, um, and may not be a great option for our to be mindset dinner, but would maybe be a better version for the lunch. And so just having that quick shift of let's make that a lunch. And so then I can swap something for dinner um, and it won't be that big of a deal. And I've even started, so um, I've started making like turkey sandwich in the morning, like I know not everybody can do stuff like that, but I'm like, it fills me more, you know, and it gives me that, like, I'm having a sandwich and guilt-free sandwich and getting the carbs to sustain me longer into the day. And, you know, so it's just like, it's shifting our mind from things need to be sweet in the morning or things like that. So hopefully somewhere in here, you found a little tip or to tidbit or found a little encouragement, um, with other people's journeys and them sharing. And, um, the more we share our ups, downs, in-betweens, the more we're able to know that we're not alone because you're not alone and we're in this together and reach out to your coach. If you have questions or reach out, um, my email's always in here and I hope to see you soon or chat with you soon. And don't forget water first, veggies most.